Hey everyone. Look what I just discovered. If you saw the last video where it was kind of set up like this and I was just popping in to say hi. Um, the one titled Technical Difficulties. Well, I was trying to, the camera is on top of the A01 PC and it's on these feet and I thought, well, what if I could put something underneath the feet to kind of tilt it forward? And as I was doing that, <laughs> pardon the invasion of space here, but <laughs> who knew? I didn't know. I didn't know my computer could do this. This is better. Help me. <laughs> All right. Well, hello. <laughs> I'm Melissa with Pleasant Hauntings. What is my hair doing? I don't know. It's just falling. Falling, falling. Whatever. I need a haircut. Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Pleasant Hauntings. I'm Melissa, and I am just here to say hello and happy Halloween and to let you know that last night I dropped The Psychological Experiment by Richard Marsh. It's a story from the 1900s that I narrated um, for Halloween. It's not very uh, Halloween-y. It's not even that scary, I don't think, unless you have a phobia of something used the many squiggly scurrying slimy things used <laughs> so, yeah um, but it's clever it's very clever I thought it was um, so I don't know listen and see what you think and let me know but if you are new on this page welcome and if you're more into uh, modern day supernatural stories, I've got you. <laughs> I also write stories. I not only read stories that are in the public domain, horror stories from the late 1800s, early 1900s, I also write stories that are more modern and cryptids and entities, all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, if you, tonight after the festivities <laughs> and you want to listen to something and you want it to be more modern um, check out uh, The Unseen A Campfire Ghost Story or The Bridge or Sigrid and Her Axe those are cryptid stories one of them of the uh, hairy variety if that's what you're into and if you want a sea creature, the cave. If you want, um, what else have I written? Um, oh, something you can listen. Well, I don't promote to kids on here because I don't know if it was going to cause restrictions. So it's up to you to determine if your kids can listen to whatever I'm, I'm reading. But the one that definitely would pass is, um, through the eyes of ghost and that is my tuxedo cat fur baby ghost um it is about things that have happened here in this town home and uh but it's not haunted i don't think it's haunted i think stuff is just you know passing through it happens <laughs> i believe it happens uh but uh everything in that story is true. I, ex, there's going to be parts that are a little fictional, and you're, you're you'll be able to figure it out which which ones. Um, but it's called Through the Eyes of Ghost. And let me know: Is your place haunted? Have do you have a cat, a dog, a bird that has alerted you to strange things going on? So um, there's that, and there is also a curse, an entity story set in New Orleans. It's actually personally my favorite one I've written uh, just because I love New Orleans oh it's a vibe <laughs> it's a really cool vibe there 
Um, anyway, I say a lot of ums and anyways. And so I notice I say that a lot too. I gotta stop it. Just, just say a sentence and move on. Almost said anyway. <laughs> what is it called? What's my story called? Uh, the, oh, hold on. What is it? Hold on. Uh, oh, yes. How could I forget, forget my favorite story? Uh, the Attachment a Curse. So there you have it. If you want something a little more modern tonight as you light candles and get into all that candy, I've already started. I need to like hike a hill or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to let you know there's a variety of stuff out there for you guys to listen to tonight. I hope you have a great night. I hope it's safe and you have fun. Happy Halloween. And I'll see all of you soon. Love you. Bye. I'm hitting the, the stop button over here. I don't know if I'm going to leave this part in. But, okay. Doodles.